Using iGrow, growers are on average producing 65 to 75% yield of their 1,000-watt HID lights and flower. At first glance, looking at those production numbers, it would make no sense to change out a light that although producing higher quality flower sites and using significantly less energy, was at the end of the day producing 25% less yield. In this business, yield is king. However, being the very bright people they are, the growers quickly started analyzing the numbers beyond just yield and energy. And let me explain that to you. And what these growers explained to me and how using iGrow to flower produces the highest grams per watt of any technology in the marketplace and how this changed the economics of their operation and how it can do the same for yours. So here's the math based on everything we've discussed so far. 1,000 watt HPS light produces on average 1,000 grams per harvest, while 400 watt iGrow produces on average 700 grams per harvest. When comparing the two on a per watt basis, iGrow produces almost one and three times more grams per watt than an HID, not to mention producing a significantly higher quality flower site. Another way is a 1,000 watt HID light equates to 1,000 grams, 400 watt iGrow equates to 700 grams. If you added another iGrow light to that site, you'd still only be consuming 800 watts of energy but now you'll be producing 1,400 grams. And again, this does not even factor in the higher quality and all the other advantages of iGrow. No venting, no lamp replacements, and lower overall cost of operation. These growers also explain that they actually wouldn't even need a two to one ratio to maintain their current production levels. Adding just 25 to 35% more light would make it possible to have equal and even slightly greater yields while saving 50 to 60% in electrical consumption. The world's best growers just figure out how to change the industry by increasing yield, decreasing the cost of operation, and significantly improving their bottom line.